So from Tacoma to here in Seattle, in Elliott Bay, right behind me, also Bremerton, apparently this beluga whale has captivated so many precisely because it is so rare. In that instant, we knew that we were watching something that was truly a once in a lifetime experience. Jason Rogers was sailing in Commencement Bay near Tacoma Sunday afternoon when he saw a white object in the water. His wife captured the moment on video. Our first thought was that it was an orca that was actually upside down from the bottom side of it. That was quickly um, ruled out and then it became I think we're looking at a beluga here. And we were just baffled, like, what is this animal? I've never seen it, anything like this in this bay before. The next day on Monday, Shannon Felix was kayaking off Jack Block Park in West Seattle when something caught her eye. Then it surfaced again and I could hear it breathe and I sounded like a porpoise and John said it's white. She and her husband John thought it might be a white sea lion, anything but a beluga. Oh, I was like albino. Could we it that ruled that out? We, we were sure it couldn't be a beluga because it why would it be, be a beluga? Here. It was a beluga confirmed by NOAA fisheries experts who studied the video and the lack of a dorsal fin. Belugas are one of the few whales that don't have a dorsal fin. Paul Wade has been studying beluga whales in the Cook Inlet in Alaska for years. He says this whale is very far from home. They are an Arctic and subarctic species. The nearest population is over a thousand miles away. The reason why it's here still unknown. Oftentimes they may be sick. Uh, they may be undernourished and looking for food and sort of trying to go to sort of crazy places to find food because they're desperate. Those who saw it may feel lucky, but unlucky in that we knew it was um, probably in distress and a long way from home and probably didn't have as, as good a chance of survival here. So a NOAA team is definitely also watching for this beluga whale. Ideally, they would like to take some high quality photos of it to recognize any potential markings that might link it to some of the beluga whale families up in the Alaska region. Of course, if anyone happens to spot this beluga in this Puget Sound area, do not go near it. It may be distressed. The NOAA experts that I talked to say that there is a chance that this whale may not survive as it is so very far away from its natural habitat. Live in Seattle, I'm Christine Pei, King 5 News.